Hello and welcome back to World of Tanks with Raging Gamer. Today's video features McCoondog71, or Coondog as he prefers to be called, in his Japanese heavy tank number six. And he's platoon with HRM Faxi um, in his KV1 and Der Earl Koenig. And we'll just go ahead and call him Earl. And he's in his tier five gorilla. And we are here on the northern spawn of the Sacred Valley map. I'd like to point out that Coondog is not uh, a heavy tank player. Uh, in fact, he only has two heavy tanks, uh, both premium. Um, one's um, Luva, a tier 8 uh, German tank, and of course this tier 6 Japanese heavy tank, number 6. He prefers medium and light tanks and uh, TDs. And incidentally, speaking of TDs, um, he has a French Tier 3 Premium FCM 36 Pack 40, uh, which he has probably a third of all his battles played to date. And his Colabanos medal is in that. And he has roughly 160 plus top guns out of his 190 or so. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty uh, nuts in that thing. You could see him uh, get a crucial uh, contribution in that uh, along with me in an earlier video that I've done. But anyway, enough about uh, that tank. Uh, personally, I hated that tank. I got rid of it as soon as I got it. <laughs> I don't know how some people can play that, but some people do, but whatever. Anyway, he's decided to take a non-traditional route over to the heavy tank battle area in the northwestern corner of this map and this is a 9.13 uh, uh, replay so it doesn't have the new configuration um, so yeah and he's working his way over there slowly now one of his platoon mates um, Faxi has made it over there in his KV-1 so he's uh, all set up and ready for action over there um, so I kind of was expecting him to get you know hit pretty hard over here coming around this corner because uh, I've tried coming this way a few times and nine times out of ten I always get hammered. The fact that he makes it all the way around this corner over here uh, without taking any damage whatsoever um, just speaks to the kind of luck this guy has. <laughs> anyway, he creeps up in this entranceway which is normally for the other side and uh, he's going to encounter the, the enemy team's OI and I think the KV-85 and there's a Matilda up here as well. Now, he is going to take his first shot at the OI and He's going to realize that that's not going to do it, so he's going to switch to premium, and you'll see that. But uh, here we go. First shot, no no penetration whatsoever. Um, and usually that's where you want to shoot that tank, um, but you really need premium, even, in, uh, even when you're top tier against that tank. And you'll see he makes penetration on that uh, for about 160 plus, or 180. And uh, there goes his second shot for 207 damage. Nice shot there. So the OI backs down, and now the Matilda comes up, and he takes him out. Nice shot there, too, right in the face. So the OI comes back up for one last shot from Kundog, and there's an issue uh, 85 sneaking up behind him, so he's got to get rid of this uh, OI and then take action, uh, but that issue 85 decides to back down. So at this point, um, he's used uh, premium ammo against the OI, which he should have. Uh, but he forgets to switch back here, and um, that's going to end up being costly for him. Uh, but now he realizes that the cap is under pressure, so now he's got to get back there and defend the base. But during this battle on the hill, he lost his teammate Faxi in his KV-1, and the surge on the cap has cost him his other platoon mate, uh, Earl, in the, the Gorilla. So he's pretty much on his own in terms of that. He does have a couple of other tanks uh, to help him out, but um, for some strange reason, the team just starts hemorrhaging tanks and uh, they start going down. Now he makes his way over here to the corner 
and he's going to run into that SU-85, and he's going to get a good shot on the left side of his uh, uh, superstructure there. And he does a good, uh, nice high roll of damage there. And now he's down three more tanks. He, they lost the Excelsior, they lost the um, Wolverine, and now they lost the AMX ELC, which is a crucial tank to uh, have at this point. But the OI gets a shot on the SU-85, and now he's gone. Um, now he's being harassed by this Wolverine and the Covenanter, and he manages to get a couple of good damaging shots in on each. Now, now at this point, he only has two kills. Um, the team's down four tank, five tanks, um, and they're down about a thousand hit points to the enemy team. Now their situation isn't quite dire yet, but um, you know. The enemy team does control three quarters of the map uh, almost at this point. And losing that OI doesn't help much, so he realizes he's got to make a move now. He tries to get a shot in that Hetzer, but it doesn't quite have the gun depression, and the Artie takes him out. The Martyr shoots at him and scores a hit. He returns fire and scores a hit back on the Martyr, but doesn't quite kill him. Uh, the Martyr shoots again and gets another shot, and finally makes the killing blow. Now at this point they're down four tanks and their Wolverine pops up over here and gets a face full of premium APCR and Coondog logs his fourth kill and narrows the gap on kills. And the enemy team's already sends him a nice thank you up on the other side of the map. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Coondog appreciated that. And the M44 on Coondog's team sends their already uh, Thank you of his own. So now we are down to a 10 versus, I'm sorry, a 2 versus 5 scenario here. Uh, with the enemy team having the significant advantage um, in hit points, um, in vision, and I would argue uh, firepower with uh, them having an ELC on the other team. Because that tank is a pretty potent tank uh, for a tier 5 light. Uh, does pack quite a punch and could take... Um, likely take out um, Coondog with one shot. So now he's spotted. He's kind of in a tough situation now because now he's a target for Artie. The AMX ELC is on low health. And he makes a bad decision to charge um, Coondog uh, on low hit points. Um, he misses his shot, um, which the AMX ELC is not known for shooting on the move. And Coondog takes him out. Um, and there goes their advantage. Now it should nothing. It should be nothing more than cleanup for Coondog from here on out. And he already hits the Excelsior, and Coondog takes the killing shot there. And the Covenanter uh, makes the mistake of trying to rush a heavy tank. Uh, not a wise decision on his part either. So it looks like their team just collapsed at this point. Um, already does try to take a couple of shots, uh, but it's really kind of a fruitless uh, endeavor at this point. So with the kill of that Excelsior and the Covenanter, he gets his top gun and now he's working on his Radley Walters. So all he's got to do is hunt down the Bishop and the Jagdpanzer. And now the Jagdpanzer could give him a little bit of trouble, especially if he's sporting the top tier gun on that tank, which is uh, an average output of 220 hit points of damage. Uh, so that could be uh, potentially a one-shot kill for him because he's only sitting on what is it 229 damage so he's definitely within the average damage uh, for that Jagdpanzer and we'll likely take him out if he gets even just an average roll um, but you know we don't know we haven't seen the Jagdpanzer do much this game so for all we know it could be AFK and that Bishop uh, yeah that could make for a bad day for Kundog to um, you know both of the guns on that tank could pretty much take him out in one shot. Uh, he gets uh, first sight on the bishop and gets a nice shot in there but doesn't get the kill with that shot. Backs up, bishop fires and misses, goes up for a second shot and hits the rock. I don't think he fully aimed. Backs up again, moves forward for the third shot, hits the rock again. And the bishop is reloaded, he takes a shot, coon dog backs up, avoids it narrowly. Uh, coon dog finally steps up and takes the final sh killing shot there. Now I understand his trepidation and uh, wanting to uh, move up on that bishop and um, you know he really hiding behind that rock serves him no purpose because the already can just shoot right over that so 
It looks like uh, he's got this game pretty much locked up now with the uh, enemy team saying that uh, the other, the Jagdpanzer is AFK. So it's just a matter of uh, hunting him down and, uh, get, and get, getting the kill. And he doesn't really need the kill for the Radley Walters. He's got that already, but uh, maybe it'll give him the ace tanker. Um, and you never know. The uh, enemy team might lie, but uh, at this point they've been congratulating him. So I don't think they are. He's just got to find that tank and uh, hopefully... Secure the kill here. Uh, for somebody that doesn't play uh, very many uh, heavy tanks, uh, he certainly did well this game. Um, certainly changed my impression a little bit about this heavy tank. Uh, I guess it's a strong tank uh, when it's top tier. Um, but uh, there's certainly other tanks that are much better, especially, um, you know, premium tanks. Um, again, he did use um, AP, uh, APCR premium rounds this whole game. I don't think he realized after he loaded initially, and we've all done that, but uh, regardless, it was still a good game. And, uh, you know, to get the game, um, maybe he just wanted to ensure that uh, he, he got the game that he wanted, so. But, uh, yeah, he's found the Jagdpanzer now, and it, it is, in fact, the AFK, so it's just a matter of cleanup, and there we go. One last shot, and the game will be done. It looks like I stopped the game a little too uh, quick, um, but yeah, he does get the kill and goes on for the win. So, looking at the post-game results, you see that he's got Ace Tanker, he's got his Radley Walters, he's got High Caliber, and he's got Top Gun. Looking at the team score section, you see that he's got nearly 3,100 in damage, 9 kills, uh, nearly 1,500 uh, XP, base XP. And in the final report here, you can see that uh, it was, in fact, quite costly for him. Um, firing all those premium rounds uh, put him in a net negative uh, credits earned. So uh, if he'd switched to a back to AP after engaging that OI, you would have had a nice profit. But overall, it was a good game to watch. Thanks for submitting it, and congratulations um, on the Ace Tanker and the Radley Walters. It was late as night. Oh, they threw me in the tree.